Hello, this is a Sila upright piano made in 2007, about 116 centimetres tall, and it's just come into stock. A Sila is an extremely respected make in the trade, um, very fastidiously manufactured. You can see, looking at the music stand here, that it's not had any music wear on the music stand from sheet music. And as we're going to see in a minute, Hammers too, it's not really been used in its lifetime very much. Internally and externally, it's absolutely immaculate. And uh, if we zero in on the hammers here, it's a Renner action. I believe this has got Arbel hammers. So as we said in many other videos, Renner and Arbel are two top manufacturers of, uh, what well, Arbel of hammers and some parts of action. Renner of, uh, act, that Arbel don't make complete actions, but they're specialists in hammers. And if we look down, we can't really see any wear on the end of them here. So very, very little use indeed. Now the central area here, wonderful singing tone. Let's compare it with some others. This is a Yamaha U1. It's a Yamaha U1G, this one, one of my favourites. So it's a very pleasant, slightly plainer sound. But if we go down to the bass end, Let's listen to the silo, especially in the bass end here. And the silo. Now oh, that's extremely rich and full bass. For the height of the piano, you, you there isn't any better bass, I don't I believe. And the warmth of the tenor is wonderful too. the Yamaha. So very good, well-balanced sound, but not got the kind of warmth that the German piano has. Now the action, obviously that's important. Both pianos are excellent. We have plenty of U1s and U3 Yamahas as usual, um, but it's difficult to get hold of the Siler. Back to the Siler. Now the action on it is more refined as well, really. It just more accurate. Um, basically, obviously this is made with no holes barred in terms of standard. Um, the Yamaha is a wonderful piano, it's more mass produced and this is more handmade as it were. And uh, just has a special quality about it wherever you play it. This is an older Beckstein. Really strong as you can see and re reconditioned as well. And a different type of sound, the older German pianos were very fond of. The silo. Which, so they're both good sounding pianos. The silo just, I think, has an edge on all the other pianos, in upright pianos in stock for, for just, how should we say, refinement. Like a good wine, really. It's. Uh, made with really real care and not that I'm a wine expert at all but if you're a connoisseur then you'd understand what I meant. So there's a brief look at this Siler upright piano it's just come into stock 116 centimeter Siler and um, made in 2007. We've sold two Silers over the last two other Silers over the last year um, slightly older ones actually, 1980s I think. So this is the youngest one we've had. And it's a wonderfully balanced action. If you're a piano player, you'd love this. Um, it, it, it's firmish, I say about medium to, to slightly more firm. So if you're a serious student, it would be ideal. Or a piano teacher. Not just is the action wonderful, but it just sings. And I've tried to show how it compares with other pianos. Um, perhaps that's difficult to pick up on the video, but I can assure you that the tone of it is extremely rich.
we use these word adjectives a lot, don't we? rich, warm. I tried to say it was like a, a good wine compared to a basic wine, but it's very hard to describe sound. you do whether you play fortissimo or, or pianissimo it does whatever you want it to do and it's very very good for, gen, for very gentle pianissimo as well obviously and so on thank you very much for listening <laughs>